incineration of the Quran increases anti-Americanism. As was already reported, a half-burnt Quran was recently found at the dump around the Bagram U.S. air base in the suburbs of Kabul, the capital of Afghanistan. It is a well-known fact that Muslims regard the Quran as the most sacred one. This notwithstanding, the U.S. forces justified their act, saying they had burned the Quran confiscated from the Afghan prisoners as it had been used for their communication. The problem is that the recent desecration of Muslims had been committed at the dictation of the U.S. military authorities. According to the Reuters of Britain, the authorities of the Bagram U.S. air base decided to do away with Korans so as to prevent the dissemination of the radical Islamic idea. It immediately triggered off great indignation of the Afghan people. More than 2,000 Afghan people met before the Bagram U.S. air base and offered fierce resistance, pelting stones into the base and setting tires on fire. In the capital Kabul and different other cities, thousands of demonstrators expressed indignation at the United States. Anti-U.S. demonstrations were staged in all parts of Afghanistan. Angry protesters raided the U.S. consulate and the U.S. embassy in Kabul suspended the travel of its staff members. GIs in Afghanistan are killed. Several European countries in the wake of the NATO and Britain are withdrawing their personnel from Afghanistan in a hurry. Confused by the increasingly serious incident, U.S. President Obama said the recent incident was not intentional and sent a letter of apology to the Afghan President Hamid Karzai on February 23rd, promising a thoroughgoing investigation. U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Fanetta, too, in his written statement, apologized for the recent incineration of the Koran, saying the results of the final investigation would be seriously examined so as to take all proper measures. It is not for the first time that the U.S. forces desecrate the Koran. It was already reported that in 2005, the U.S. forces brutally tortured the Islamic prisoners in the prison of the Guantanamo U.S. naval base and not content with it, threw the Koran into the jerry, and when the prisoners were praying, they danced around them, deriding them. Far from drawing a lesson from it, the U.S. forces in Afghanistan burned the Koran again under an unjustifiable pretext, and threw it at the dump without hesitation. It clearly shows to the world what the human civilization and the respect of human rights often talked about by the United States are like. Now the international community describes the incineration of the Koran by the U.S. forces as an open insult of the United States to the Muslims and more strongly denounces the corrupt American society where respect of human being was completely obliterated. Addressing a ceremony, the Iranian high-ranking churchman criticized that it is a hair-raising crime that the U.S. forces took away Korans read by the Islamic prisoners and burned them. He described the incineration of the Koran as an intentional act that stemmed from the hatred of Muslims agitated by the U.S. politicians. An Islamic organization of Jordan in a statement said the apology of the U.S. president for the incineration of the Koran is very insufficient and stressed that those who burned the Koran should be sent to the International Criminal Court. The observers said the United States recklessly tramples underfoot the devotion of the peoples of other countries disobedient to it, and its arrogant acts will only increase anti-Americanism on the international arena, and in the long run bring earlier its self-destruction. Today, the world peace-loving people, including the Afghan people, more strongly curse and denounce the United States, the greatest violator of human rights, chanting, Death to the United States.